frugal family home and today I wanted to share a tip of how you can store strawberries longer in your refrigerator at home. It only takes a few steps and there are three different ways you can do this. Yeah, that's right, three different ways depending on how much time and energy you have to put into them. So let's take a lovely batch of strawberries just like these and keep them as long as we can. So let me show you three ways that you can do this. Plus I have a bonus tip for when you're feeling super lazy on how to keep store these longer too. So let's get started. Okay, for our first way to store these strawberries, it's really easy to do. And this will keep your berries about three to five days in the fridge. Okay, so here we have our strawberries. We have a container that with a, with a lid to put on and we have some paper towels. So first thing you wanna do is put a paper towel in the bottom of your container. And then once you have that done, you just wanna sort through your strawberries and see how they look. As long as there's no bruising or anything, just put them into the container and load them up. And this method will keep the strawberries, oh, about three to five days. You can store them in here in the package from the store, but because it has ventilation holes, a lot of times it will actually, um, the strawberries will get kind of dried out. So once you have all your strawberries transferred over, and I won't do all of these so you can watch, just put the lid on, take it and store it in your refrigerator for three to five days and they should stay really nice. Okay, our second way to store the berries will keep your berries fresh up to seven days. There's a little bit more effort into it, but not much. Now, if you're gonna to want to keep the berries for at least right around seven days you want to prep them just a little bit more than our last technique you want to line your container again with a paper towel just like that then we're not going to wash our berries we're just going to go ahead and cut off the top just like that and then put the cut side down just like that as you're going along you want to sort them and if there's any ones with bruised areas or things like that, you want to remove them and use them right away or eat them because if you put them in here, they're more likely to, um, they're more likely to have a problem. And then once you have them all done, you just put them in the refrigerator for later. And once you have your container filled, you just want to put the lid on, seal it up, and then put it in the refrigerator just like this, and your strawberry should stay fresh about seven days. And now this third way to store berries is the most labor intensive, but you can get a whole two weeks. That's right, two weeks out of your berries in the fridge. So while there's a few steps to it, it's well worth it if you have a lot of berries and you don't wanna freeze them or preserve them in some way and you wanna be able to eat them fresh as long as you can. Okay, we come to the third way, and this way will keep your berries fresh for about two weeks. So the first thing we wanna do is take water and I have six cups of water here and we're gonna add some vinegar. I have three fourths a cup of vinegar. I'm gonna put it in and give it a little stir. Then what I like to do is to take a colander and just put it down into the solution and we're gonna add our berries. So now that we have our berries in the soak, we're gonna let them soak for three to five minutes. And once it's done soaking, this is why I like to use the colander inside. You just lift up the berries and take them to the sink to rinse. And now that we have them rinsed, we're going to place them on a paper towel so they can dry. And if you have a rack like this one, I have, this is from my dehydrator, you could use something like this or just a paper towel on a cutting board be fine. I'm gonna do both. <laughs> berries are dry we're going to take them and put them into a container with a tight fitting lid but before we just put them in we want to put in a layer of paper towel then we're going to lay our berries in carefully don't want to bruise them and then when we get one layer in we'll put another paper towel and put another layer in 
and we'll just continue on until all the berries are added to our container. And this method should keep our berries good for up to two weeks. And so while it does take a little more effort, you can keep them almost a whole week longer. So it's worth a little bit of effort to do. That. And then we'll just put the lid on them and take them to the refrigerator. One bonus way, and here it is. This is perfect for those days where you don't feel like doing anything. It's what I call the lazy day way to store your strawberries to get the most life out of them. These will keep your berries fresh for about seven, maybe 10 days. 10 days is kind of pushing it, but let's let me show you how easy it is. Now, this is the easiest, by far the easiest way to preserve your strawberries. And what you need is a jar just like this and a lid, a tight fitting lid. And that is it. Then you just sort your strawberries, make sure they look, you know, really good. Put them into your jar. See that one has a little bruise, so I'd skip that one. That one looks good. And of course you could use a much bigger jar than this. I just have a pint sized jar, but you can use oh, another one that's a little bruised. So that one we will eat and just put them in. Make sure not to overcrowd them once you have them in. There's no cleaning or anything. You just put them in and that's it. Just put them into the jar, put them in the fridge like this when you're ready to eat them one, take it out, wash it, and you're set. And this will keep, this way will keep your strawberries for about a week easily, maybe even 10 days. And it's this, by far the easiest way to keep you store your strawberries and help them keep from going moldy. If you'd like more information about storing strawberries, look for the link in the description. And if you don't subscribe to our channel yet, please click the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.